Hello friends, welcome again to the tetrahedron chemistry classes. So guys, today is my third lecture on IR spectroscopy. Okay, and in today's lecture, I am going to discuss the Hooke's law and its applications. See guys, it's very important to understand the Hooke's law and its application. Why? Because uh, it is very useful in calculating the absorption frequencies and you can find multiple type of the numerical problems based on the Hooke's law. I'll try to cover few of them so that you can have idea about the calculation of the absorption frequency and the other things based on the Hooke's law. Okay, uh, frequency that is new that is equals to 1 upon 2 pi under root of k divided by mu okay so this is basically the first relation you know this equation is very very famous equation and it's a well known equation from your class 12th only right and uh, you know if you have your nu bar then nu bar equals to nu by c right what is nu bar basically it's the kind of wave number or the stretching frequency or it is only the frequency if you want to convert your nu bar into nu then you should divide it by uh, c actually which is the speed of light okay this is another very well known equation for you now if you combine these two equations i can write like that from equations 1 and 2 what is the meaning of that i'll put the value of c into nu bar in place of nu so i'll have this relation just like that you see nu bar multiplied by c equals to 1 upon 2 pi under root of k by mu and you know the what is the terminology k is the force constant and sometimes in place of the uh, k you can also find the f but both represents the bond strength basically right or you can say the force constant hmm? this force constant generally reflect the bond strength mu is the reduced mass when you convert your one body a two body problem into one body problem then of course this concept of the mu is very very important this i have explained in my microwave spectroscopy lectures right pi is there which is having the value of 3.14 c is the speed of light since we actually do the calculation in the centimeter only so the speed of light you will take 3 into 10 is the power 10 right this this would be the value and nu bar is just like that so if you uh, if you put this like that nu bar equals to 1 upon 2 pi c under root of k by mu so this is your Hooke's law very 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 important right so you should always remember see in the textbook this equation is given as such but you should know the conversion how we can convert this right and in that case it is very important to note that if you have written the equation in that manner then your mu which is the reduced mass it is given in the grams okay it is the basically reduced mass of the atoms which is given in the gram okay and k or f is the force constant it is your force constant and it is given in dynes per centimeter okay this is the unit of this one now sometimes you, you see you may convert this uh, gram right which gram this reduced mass which is given in the gram actually you can convert this into atomic mass unit also which is amu so based on this uh, you may have the variety of the uh, numerical problems in your examination so how we can convert this right uh, since you know uh, here i can write if you remember your avogadro's law 1 gram equals to 6.023 into 10 is the power 23 okay it is not looking good 23 so i can write it properly 10 is the power 23 okay so if you want to convert this how will you do this nu bar equals to 1 upon 
2 pi c which is your k is the force constant mu and this mu you will divide with the Avogadro's number that is 6.023 into 10 raise the power 23. So this equation will become 1 on 2 pi c square root of k times 6.023 into 10 raise the power 23 because it is in the denominator and it will come up okay and then you will have divided by mu so if you if you take the square root of 6.023 into 10 is the power 23 right so i am writing here basically square root of 6.023 into 10 raise the power 23 okay this is actually comes 7.76 into 10 raise the power 11 right if you take the square root of this so what difference it will make you can write uh, I can change the color right this mu bar equals to 7.76 times into 10 is the power 11 divided by you can put the value of 2 like that you can put the value of pi 3.14 and you can also put the value of speed of light 3 into 10 raise the power 10 meter centimeters per second this is the unit okay this is centimeter per second please remember it is centimeters per second okay it is very important to note that and then after that you are having this value k over mu so if you solve this factor right if you solve this entire factor then you will have your final equation which would be which would look like mu bar equals to 4.12 under root of k by mu and in that k again it is in centimeter please remember it the value is always in centimeter inverse right this will come into the uh, in the units of the centimeter inverse okay so uh, i hope you have seen this equation see if you are following the uh, book spectroscopy by pavia and lemben then this equation is written uh, is uh, written over there but how this equation actually come it's actually just like that you can see here okay so uh, this is uh, the equation which uh, this is the Hooke's law final expression of the Hooke's law which is mu bar equals to 4.12 under root of uh, force constant divided by reduced mass okay this equation comes like that okay first of all you should understand this much of thing because see in, case, in, in some cases uh, in your numericals what happens the value is given in the gram when the value is given in the gram so there is no need to convert this into the atomic mass unit to get the final equation you can straightforward put the values here there is no need to put the concept of two uh, say Avogadro's number but this if this mu is given in the amu atomic mass unit then you have to involve this calculation of 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 to get the final result of mu bar equals to 4.12 under root of k by mu this is something very very important okay so okay guys now i am going to solve the problem based on this how you will see how we can solve the problem based on your Hooke's law so this is your uh, first problem calculate the stretching frequency of carbon double bond carbon right for this carbon double bond carbon force constant that is f or k is given which is 10 into 10 is the power 5 dimes per centimeter you know the very famous equation right nu bar equals to 4.12 under root of force constant k divided by reduced mass mu what is reduced mass reduced mass equals to multiplication of the atomic masses of two atoms involved in the involved in the formation of the group and then the sum of the atomic masses of the atoms right this is like that so if you are calculating for this one you are you have been given two carbons here so first carbon is 12 and second carbon is 12 again right it is the most actually commonly uh, occurring isotope so 12 into 12 
divided by 12 plus 12 that means 144 divided by 24 okay and if you if if you want then you can solve it uh, six time it will actually cancel each other okay so it is actually 144 by 24 equals to 6 right so now you can solve your problem 4.12 under root of force constant is given guys it is 10 into 10 raised the power 5 dies per centimeter divided by 6 okay so there is no need to uh, bother about the units or the dines per centimeter and everything okay it actually automatically adjusts in the equation itself okay and if you solve uh, this uh, parameter then this will give you the value of 1682 centimeter inverse okay i have calculated this one but please remember if you are a biology student and you don't have idea about how to actually take the square root how to take the cube root right especially in case of the if you if you, if you do not uh, know how to actually mm, uh, calculate your square root then it would be very very difficult for you to solve such kind of the problem basically for biology students right please remember this right so this is the 1682 which is actually carbon double bond carbon stretch right and you will remember this 1682 for carbon double bond carbon stretch because during uh, your interpretation of the spectra then uh, you need all these data there okay now i am moving to the next problem right this uh, guys this is my next problem what it says uh, you can see here approximate this is the sign of the approximate approximate wavelength of absorption associated with carbon and hydrogen bond in stretching vibration of the methyl group your force constant k is given 5 into 10 to the power 5 dines per centimeter masses of the carbon and hydrogens are given just like that 2 into 10 to the power minus 23 gram and 0.167 into 10 to the power minus 23 gram right this is for carbon this is for hydrogen right and you have to calculate the approximate wavelength that mean you uh, if you want to solve this problem right i can write solution here for this problem so it simply means uh, you want to calculate the in, in that case you need to calculate your lambda okay but this lambda is the inverse of new bar so somehow if you actually uh, calculate your new bar then automatically you will get the lambda so your work is to calculate the new bar first okay so how we can calculate you know you are having the hooke's law hooke's law is what new bar equals to 1 upon 2 pi c okay and then your square root of force constant divided by reduced mass so in that case in the equation itself in the question itself the masses of the carbon and the hydrogens are given in the gram so there is no need to use of uh, the previous equation which is which is your uh, this one actually if i go back right so i have used this particular equation because in that case nothing is given here atomic masses units are there so i have used the formula where i have taken care of the avogadro's number also right because atomic mass units are there but in this particular problem you have not given this atomic masses unit but you have given the value in the grams right so you can straight forward write 1 upon 2 pi c under root of k by mu or if you want to convert them into uh, convert this equation into the uh, your previous one equation on the last page which i have shown you then you can do by yourself but this is the easiest way so uh, so that uh, so that's why i am selecting this only so how we can solve this problem right so this will give you 1 2 is here you know the value of the 3 is pi is 3.14 and since we are doing calculation in the centimeters okay so we will use 3 into 10 is the part 10 centimeter per second unit okay and then my reduced mass and the force constant okay my force constant is this one so i can write 5 into 10 is the power 5 okay now the reduced mass i want my reduced mass here so reduced mass is what mu i already told you equals to multiplication of the masses of the two atoms divided by 
addition of the masses of the two atoms involved. So M1 say for example this is where M1 for carbon this is where M2 right so here you can write 2 multiplied by 10 is the power 23 multiplied by 0.167 multiplied by 10 is the power 23 and this, this should be divided by the sum of these two that mean uh, 2 into 10 is the power minus 23 plus 0.167 into 10 is the power minus 23 why i am solving this basic mathematics because i know this was this video actually going everywhere and some of the biology students definitely will see this video so i am making the things easier for them for mathematics student you can do by yourself very quickly okay but for biology students who are weak in the mathematics right and who left the mathematics uh, in class 12 uh, these steps are very very important right especially for uh, for their bsc examinations right or msc examinations just like that that's why i'm doing this one so uh, if i go further then what it will give you it will give you 1 on 18.84 into 10 raised the power 10 and this is where square root again see uh, 3 to the say here you can see 3 to just 6 6 into 3 is 18 that's why 18 is there right and then i have also take, uh, taken care of this one right so 84 is here so you can multiply these three to get this one okay there is no problem in that and on the top you are having 5 into 10 is the power 5 now this should be divided by now here you you need to know the basic mathematics what i will do i'll multiply 2 with the uh, 0 0.167 and i can take 10 is the power minus 46 here right so th these are the certs actually which you have solved in your class 10 whenever the multiplication sign is there then your power may add up so 23 plus 23 that will give you 46 it is very very important you need to understand this thing okay this is very important right and then you can divide this by so what you can do now you can add up what 2 plus 0.167 and your 10 is the power minus 23 is common here right you need to understand this much of thing it is very very important right and if you if you if you solve this further then what you will get here you will get 1 upon 18.84 multiplied by 10 is the power 10 and your this square root okay which will give you 5 into 10 raised the power 5 and you know this is in the denominator so this will go up with this it and now it will get multiplied with this equation right 5 into 10 raised the power 5 it will get multiplied with this one okay so you can write multiply this one and it will give you 2 plus 0.167 and this should be multiplied by 10 raised the power 23 and this should be divided by 2 into 0.167 into 10 raised the power minus 46 okay up to this point you have you actually uh, uh, you have to understand the things how it is happening now uh, what left is the pure calculation so i am not uh, actually involving in the uh, now i am not i do not want to involve in the calculations here straight forward i am writing the result right so what is the result here for this result you will get 3023 centimeter inverse okay this is the value of new bar okay so here you see your new bar you have calculated which is coming 3023 centimeter inverse and in my last page if you see i have already given you the formula here lambda equals to 1 upon new bar 
so what you can do you can write here lambda equals to 1 on nu bar 1 you have, you can write like that and this is 3023 in centimeter inverse okay and if you solve this then you will get 0 0.0003079 in centimeters okay so this is in centimeters so you are getting your lambda in the centimeter because here you can see it is in centimeter inverse if it the, if, if this goes up then it will become centimeters now this is the value of the uh, your wavelength but you know wavelength generally lambda we calculate in the nanometer or in the micrometer so here you can see i am giving you the relation uh, it, it would be helpful for you 1 meter equals to 10 is the power 6 micrometer and you know 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter that is equals to 10 raise the power minus 6 micrometer if you want to calculate for 1 centimeter then it will give you 10 raise the power 6 divided by 100 equals to 10 raise the power 4 uh, micrometer so if you want to convert your this centimeter into the micrometer what you will do 0 0.00 3 3 0 7 9 you will multiply this value with the 10 raise the power 4 and then you will end up with your answer which would be your 3.3079 micrometer right so if uh, you can do by this right uh, by, uh, you can do in this way so uh, if you want to convert into the nanometer you know 1 meter equals to 10 raise the power 9 nanometer so this will become 10 to the power 9 10 to the power 9 then this will become 10 to the power 7 and you multiply this value with the 10 to the power 7 you will get your answer okay this is how you can do that okay so now i am moving to the next problem uh, the equilibrium frequency of your uh, carbon oxygen where isotope of carbon is 12 isotope of oxygen is 16 is 2143 centimeter inverse this you have been given you have to calculate that means calculate the frequency of carbonyl group in which your carbon 13 isotope is given right see here you can see here the carbon 13 is there that means it will actually uh, change your reduced mass right it will change the re change your reduced mass and you know the reduced mass if you go back right if you go back uh, here you can see uh, your reduced mass is basically inversely proportional to uh, this uh, uh, vibrational frequency so if this mu increases this will decrease or vice versa let's see what is going to happen in our case in that case so how actually we can uh, solve this uh, equation there are various ways to solve uh, these kinds of the equation i am giving you the one way and you can calculate you can do uh, by your own if you want to calculate uh, by the another method so how uh, we can calculate this it's quite easy guys there is no problem in that okay how do how to do that say uh, for example i am using this blue color okay for blue color i am using this so for this is say for example uh, this is new one and you have to calculate the new two so this data is given for the uh, new one so uh, how uh, the equation we can uh, how we can uh, write the equation for this okay this is something very very special and something very very important okay so what would be your new one bar this is the solution okay so for new one you know how to so to solve this actually right this is something very very important so this would be 1 upon 2 pi c square root of force constant that would be say your k or f whatever you want you can write here and corresponding to this new one your reduce mass is the mu one so this is the equation number two similarly you can write the equation two that is new two equals to one upon two pi c under root of k over mu two say this is where equation number two right and what you can do you can take the ratio right see uh, what you can do actually in that case you can divide this equation one by two or you can do this divide equation uh, you can divide this equation 2 by 1 so either 1 by 2 or 2 by 1 both will going to give you the same result actually right and uh, what i am doing i am actually dividing equation 2 by equation 1 right i am doing like that so 
for this nu2 bar divided by nu1 bar okay and here you can write 1 upon 2 pi c under root of k by mu2 and then this should be divided by 1 upon 2 pi c under root of k by mu1 so these can straight forward you can cancel and after that you can write the equation again nu2 bar over nu1 bar equals to under root of k by mu2 divided by k by mu1 or c uh, guys again it is for the biology student if you have the under root sign in the numerator and under root sign in the denominator and you are having the common things so you can take the common of both actually right so if basically if you have uh, under root sign in the numerator as well as in the denominator so you can uh, write uh, this equation just like that okay and you know your k and k are same right and this will go up because it is in the denominator and this will come down actually so what your equation would be nu2 bar over nu1 bar equals to square root of mu1 over mu2 sorry mu2 this is your final equation which i can write equation number 3 how to see here actually this uh, your wave number is inversely proportional to the reduced mass so nu1 is inversely is inversely proportional to mu1 so here again you see nu1 is inversely proportional to uh, sorry nu1 is inversely proportional to nu1 and nu2 is inversely proportional to nu2 right so they are inverse relation as you can see here in that case okay and then uh, now if you want to calculate uh, see nu1 is given here and you want to calculate the nu2 so how you can calculate the nu2 so for nu2 bar you will get this nu1 over nu2 and this value should be multiplied by nu1 bar i think there is no problem in that and you can easily solve this equation now okay how actually we can solve this equation it's very easy now okay so here what you got in the what we get in the uh, last uh, what we got in the last slide this new to equals to i am writing this equation for you again right uh, let me go back actually so it was actually a new one by mu uh, one by mu two so here mu one by mu two and this whole equation is basically multiplied by mu one bar what is new one you know carbon and oxygen it is given in the equation if you go back right uh, it is given here carbon 12 and uh, oxygen 16 carbon 12 and oxygen 16 this is given okay so here you can write this is 12 this is 16 and your reduced mass that is new one equals to 12 into 16 Divided by twelve plus sixteen. There is no problem in that. Okay, and if you want, then you can write one ninety two divided by twenty eight. Okay. Similarly, you can get new two. New two equals to thirteen into sixteen because carbon thirteen for thar carbon thirteen you have to calculate the things. Okay, and then your thirteen plus sixteen, and this will give you. 208 over 29 there is no problem in that now it's very easy you can write it here new to bar equals to square root of this value right this new one you can put here you can write 192 over 28 Divided by 
208 divided by 29 right it's very easy mu 2 this is your mu 2 you have written like that this is mu 1 value and you have written like that I think there is no problem in that and uh, this you know is multiplied with the new one bar new one bar is given 2143 if you go back you can check here this is given 2143 which I have put it here okay and then if you solve this now it's very easy 192 multiplied by 29 divided by 208 multiplied by 28 this equation multiplied by 243 and since I have solved this uh, this question by my own that's why I am uh, doing this calculations pretty quickly not using any calculator because I have solved this equation on my notes uh, on uh, in my notebook and it is 5824 times 2143 right and if you solve this then you will get your answer 2094.78 centimeter inverse so this is the answer for this particular equation i hope you understand or you understood the problem well now i am moving to the next problem what it says that yes this is my last problem guys and it's a very special problem you need to understand how to approach see why actually i solve the numerical problems whenever i do any topic especially uh, although the, the see especially when you are uh, a topic require the numerical problems i always do the numerical problems because uh, see sometimes it happens that if it, it, it sometimes it happens that if you want to know the theory of if you want to understand the theory of the particular uh, particular topic you need to solve the numericals and sometimes it happens if you want to solve the uh, numerical then you need to know the theory both goes actually hand to hand so that's why i have uh, i generally solve the question prob uh, the numerical problems okay so what is the question assuming that force constant for carbon triple bond carbon carbon double bond oxygen and carbon single bond carbon are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 and that normal range of carbon double bond carbon stretching absorption is 1630 to 1690 centimeter inverse what range is expected for carbon single bond carbon and carbon double bond carbon stretching vibration it's a very very special kind of the problem and uh, we can see how we can solve such kind of the problem so again because it is the application of the hooke's law so your hooke's law is again required here what is the hooke's law nu bar equals to 1 upon 2 pi c under root of force constant by mu right this you know okay and again see in the, in the previous case if you go back in the previous case i have actually uh, derived this equation here right so same kind of the equation we can derive for the force constant right so uh, because in that case the force constant is see in that case your for in in this particular numerical force constant is uh, same but in that case uh, in this particular numerical your force constant is different okay because this this is a triple bond this is double bond this is single bond and you know this multi this is the very shorter bond it would be the strongest so the f would be different for this one this is the double bond of course the f or the k would be different and for this also f and k would be different so in that case your bond this value would be different in this case okay and since both are the carbons here in all the cases you know the both carbons are same so mu would be the same in that case so what will I, what will happen you will we will cancel mu this time and will make the relation for k only so how actually uh, we can do this so uh, i am not actually solving uh, i am not doing this in the st into step by step but i am giving the direct relationship so nu1 bar over nu2 bar this will give you under root of k1 by k2 and it is quite obvious guys you see here your vibrational frequency is directly proportional to k right so nu1 is directly proportional to k1 nu2 is directly proportional to the k2 if you write the two equation this 
these would cancel out as well as this mu and you left with this one right i hope you understood okay now if you have this one now say for example if your f2 is given force constant and you can you can assume it as f1 also right you can you can do your question uh, in both ways right if uh, f2 is or k2 not f2 actually why i am letting again and again f2 i am sorry if your k2 okay if your k2 is uh, force constant for carbon double bond carbon and k1 is for say what we can we can assume it carbon single bond carbon that's just like that okay now you see the ratios ratios carbon triple bond carbon then your carbon double bond carbon and then your carbon single bond carbon and ratios are in this form 3 is to 2 is to 1 it is given in the equation 3 is to 2 is to 1 so i have taken double bond and single bond so i can take these two 2 is to 1 okay i can take this ratio 2 is to 1 then i can solve uh, my question so i can write uh, in that case nu1 bar over nu2 bar this will give you under root of that is k1 your k1 you see car for uh, for carbon single bond carbon it is k1 so here you can write at the top it is 1 why 1 because for this the force constant is in the in this particular ratio okay so for carbon single bond carbon is 1 and it should be divided by basically with the 2 why 2 because for carbon double bond carbon the ratio is the uh, value is 2 so the ratio is just like that okay if you do in the another way if you if you divide nu2 by nu1 so it would be nu2 nu2 by nu1 and 2 by 1 this will not make any difference actually okay and if you solve this then you will find 0.707 right this actually you must solve in order to understand the problems i hope there is no problem in that okay now if you want to calculate uh, this ratio is coming just like that nu2 is given for you right uh, uh, nu2 is i i think nu2 is given for uh, uh, yes 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 for carbon double bond carbon you can see here this uh, value is given so how we can solve this so here i am using the different color okay so how uh, actually we'll do that for 1630 okay if if you write like that nu1 bar over nu2 bar equals to this one right if you if you write like that sorry uh i have written in another way this value actually is where point 707 so here nu1 bar equals to point 707 multiplied by nu2 bar okay so this is point 707 multiplied by nu2 bar is given 1630 first range is the 1630 so you can write 1630 here if you multiply these two then you will get your answer okay so uh, this is how actually you can solve the problem so this this will give you actually let me multiply it first with the help of the calculator okay it is 0.707 yes and it is multiplied by 1630 okay it is giving you uh, this value 1152.41 right so this is actually the new one that mean uh, the vibrational frequency for uh, range actually this is the first uh, thing and second you can write like that uh, second you can like that new one bar equals to 0.707 multiplied by 1690 because second value is the 1690 okay let me multiply it first 1194 1194.83 so the range for carbon single bond carbon is from 1152 to 1194 right this is the range for carbon single bond 
carbon. Now, uh, what you can do? Similarly, you can go for the carbon triple bond carbon. How to do that? And you can compare this carbon triple bond carbon. Say this is your basically uh, mu three, right? You can correlate this mu three with the mu one, and you can also correlate this mu three with the mu two. Uh, sorry, mu two bar. Both will both will give you the same result. Okay. So I am writing for this. Uh, I am writing just like that. Uh, say for example, I am writing in that manner: mu three bar over mu two bar. What this will give you? Mu three. Mu three is basically say for carbon triple bond carbon. Okay. Mu two. Uh, you already know. Mu uh, two was here. Mu two is for carbon double bond carbon. Just like that. Okay. So we are correlating these two. So if I go back, so new three by new three by new three bar or new two, and ratio you know it is three by two. It is given in the question. If you go back, you see uh, three. Here you see new three is three, and you are correlating with this double bond. So three is to two is the ratio. That's why it is three by two. Okay, and now new three bar new three bar equals to Three by two multiplied by new two bar. Okay, so uh, if you if you solve this value, right? Uh, this is one point two two, somewhere around one point two two five. So basically, this value is one point two two five, and you can multiply it with the new two range. So what is the new two range? You have already calculated new two range. New two range is sixteen thirty to sixteen ninety. Okay. So what you can you can do you can multiply it with one six three zero. So let me multiply it with the help of the calculator one six three zero nineteen uh, hundred and ninety six. This will give you the nineteen hundred and ninety six centimeter inverse. And in the second case one point two two five you can multiply it with the higher range sixteen ninety. That is sixteen ninety. This will give you. Let me calculate it again with the help of the calculator because I uh, didn't calculate the or didn't solve this problem right in my in my notebook. That's why it's taking little bit of time. One point two two five multiplied by one six nine zero. It is two zero seven zero. Okay, is giving you two zero seven zero. Centimeter inverse. Okay, so for carbon triple bond carbon, the range is one nine nine six to two zero seven zero centimeter inverse. So this was the range of new two, which is given in the question. This is for actually carbon triple bond carbon, and you have calculated here for carbon uh, single bond carbon, which is here just like that. Okay, so this is how actually uh, guys you can solve. the variety of the problems variety of the problems you can solve by this so th these are the range actually you sh uh, you should know so let me check it 1.225 and here it is 1630 1690 yes so this is how you can solve the problem so these are the few sample problems of the hooks law and these uh, these problems are very very important if you are doing your bsc final year okay or even in the uh, msc or in the csi or net and the gate examination these types of the problems they may ask actually right so this is the conclusion of my third lecture on the ir spectroscopy in the next class i will continue with the uh, concept of the n harmonicity in the uh, vibrational spectroscopy okay so i am signing out before signing out i am making you another request uh, please subscribe the tetrahedron chemistry classes if you are new here and watching video for the first time if you are my regular viewer please don't forget to like the video and i'll meet you again in the next class thank you thanks for watching